Hello everyone. Welcome back to the Bushcraft Camp Build Series. Today I'm at the camp again. I'm going to be doing a little bit of work here today, but I I don't think I'll be doing a, a lot. I'd like to just hang out, cook up some lunch, and uh, relax for the day. But I did say that last time, and I busted my butt. <laughs> I was thinking today I might build up some more of this wall and gather some more logs for the roof. I brought my mini chainsaw this time um, just to make things a little easier and quicker. It won't last long but it'll it'll give me a start. But I'm gonna get my stuff unpacked and hang out here for a little bit. Uh, the wind is picking up. It said They said it was supposed to get to 50 kilometer winds today um, and right now it's uh, it's a chilly minus 13 with the wind chill but yeah so I'm gonna get unpacked here and uh, hang out for a little bit I think possibly get a small fire going I don't want anything too big as the wind could cause an issue um, so yeah I will see you all in a little bit well I'm unpacked now and I think I'm gonna get this fire going. It's starting to get a little bit, a little bit more colder now that I'm not moving around so much. So I'm gonna get this going. Well, sadly, I don't know if I'm going to be able to have a fire today. These uh, wind gusts are pretty strong and I don't really want this fire jumping and uh, creating something that I uh, can't control. <laughs> uh, but I spent the last little while uh, just gathering some logs. Um, there's still a couple more up top I want to get. but. Uh, Unfortunately, I can't bring you with me. Uh, it's just a lot, a lot of work, bringing the camera and the saw, and then yeah. So it started to snow a little bit. It wasn't even in the forecast. <laughs> so today's starting to turn out to be a little bit of a not so nice day. That's all right. If the wind does not die down, I brought other food up that I can just eat. It's only 10 o'clock, so the wind could still die down enough to have a little fire. I did cut up a little bit of firewood just in case, so we'll just play it by ear. If not, then no worries. Well, I went up the hill and I've cut a few good sized logs, but now, now I gotta bring them all down. It's starting to snow a little bit more. Uh, hopefully it doesn't keep up or pick up because I don't really have a tarp with me today. So, I have a couple sips of my beer and then I'm gonna start lugging them all down the hill. I ended up getting one that was probably about eight inches. That's gonna be a good good filler. I was counting the spaces between the logs and I need need at least eight logs for today anyways. As I said, I don't know how much I'm gonna get done today. Uh, it's not looking too promising for me having a fire. Um, the, the wind just keeps picking up. Super gusty. They were, like I said, they were, they were saying about 50 kilometer winds today. 
I'm glad I'm down here in this little valley because if I was out in the open, this wouldn't be doable. I would have had to go home. But anyways, I'm gonna get on to dragging these logs. It's a lot of work. Definitely a lot of work. This guy is, uh, he's a pretty big log. Heavy too. So still a little bit wet in the middle. It's dead, but just not light. <laughs> I got three parts of this tree. These are the two. I think there's one more up up top there. Oh, I got sawdust in my beard. <laughs> Sticks. Back to it. I got, I think, three or four more to bring down. One is super dead and super light, so that one will be super easy. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna have a drink of beer. It's so cold today that my mustache keeps freezing. This log here will work. It's got a, a slight bow to it. We'll see. All right, back to it. This thing sitting up there. Looks like it could be a good good seed or something. So we brought it back. Okay, well, 
I'm gonna take a little break for a few minutes and then I'm gonna to get to deliming some of these these logs and getting them uh, cut to size So I'll get back with you guys in a little bit. that for something. Okay. So I know there was some people that were a little bit concerned about uh, the lashing on the corner here. Uh, honestly, I wasn't too concerned about it, but um, I'm going to take your advice and I will put a little pole up there this guy's pretty solid so I think it'll work we'll just kind of friction it in there for now I lift up. there we go I already put rocks down and measured it so save you guys the boring part in a little bit I will lash it to this tree and it should should have no issues it's pretty strong well I'm gonna get started on getting these roof logs on uh, but first I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove all the back logs and just so they just don't get in the way I'm not fighting with them uh, and then we'll figure it out after. Alright, now I got the lean to taken down. Hopefully, it's the last time I have to do that. <laughs> That's two times already I've had to take that thing down. Alright, now I'm gonna get to putting all the logs that I have on the roof and see, uh, see how it looks.
Well, I'm gonna need a few more logs, but luckily I don't need to grab the big ones anymore. I can find all the small guys and kind of fit them in between, pile them on top. I think it's gonna work out. Now I'm gonna try to put all the back ones back on, but I don't think it's gonna work too well. We'll see. You know what, I, uh, I don't think I'm going to put the, the back lean-to on quite yet. Um, it makes no sense, because I still need to finish the, the top of the roof there and make it all level on the edges, so, so I think I'm just going to leave the lean-to parts in a pile over on the side there and and next time I come back, we'll get some more logs and we'll try to fit them all in between all the the spaces between every, every log. So, we're getting there. It's starting to come together. But I'm going to hang out for a little bit and uh, I'll get back to you guys. I need a little break. Maybe have a bite to eat. Well, I think I'm heading out of here for today. Um, you might luck out and get to see my other bushcraft camp on the way out. Who knows, I might just uh, hang around there for a little bit. It's only one o'clock. So uh, for today, that's all I'm doing. Uh, the wind is just getting to me today. It's just too, too windy, too cold. So I'm gonna quickly pack up here. Luckily, I don't have to wait for a fire to burn down because I never had one. And I'm gonna start hiking out of here. Well, towards the camp, which is actually pretty close to here. I would say as soon as I start walking out, it'll probably take me 10 minutes to get there, honestly. <laughs> All right, so uh, we'll see you in a few minutes. Well, everyone, I made it to the uh, original bushcraft camp. She's definitely still underwater. But, as you can see, I am, I'm on top of the water. Uh, there's probably about three or four inches of ice here. So uh, I think what I'm gonna do here is, uh, I'm gonna try to, <laughs> try to have a little fire and hang out here for a couple hours. I know there's way little risk of having a, the fire spreading here and there's way less wind that's why I chose this spot to begin with um, but yeah so let's let's <laughs> let's see how how well this works this is pretty crazy being able to walk on all this there's there's this much water underneath me <laughs> I got myself a little ice rink, ice rink camp. <laughs> and it's pretty crazy, you can see the bubbles moving underneath, but uh, there's, there's no cracking. I feel like that's going to change when, uh, when I light this fire. I'm going to cut up a couple pieces of wood and uh, we'll get back with you.
doesn't like to split. <laughs> All this wood's been uh, been in a previous burn, so it it's extra hard wood. <laughs> Definitely not the most easiest to cut, but there we go. Okay, again, we're not messing around today. I'm just gonna light the birch bike, birch bark with a lighter and get on with it. I wanna get some food cooked in here. Trail mix just doesn't cut it. Trail mix and, trail mix and pepperoni just to, doesn't work for me. Okay. I hope the uh, the ice doesn't melt around here. Guess we'll find out. It still is a little windy in here, but not nearly as windy as my other camp. I just need to have enough fire to give me some nice coals so I can cook. Okay, we'll let that burn for a little bit. I'm gonna set up my chair here. Let's get all this firewood over though. Okay, we got fire. That was easy. Hopefully it doesn't melt the ice and uh, start cracking on me, but uh, I will definitely be keeping an eye on this ice situation. I will need probably more firewood, but for now we're just gonna go with this. Glad the day wasn't a complete bust. I got a bunch of stuff done at the other camp, and I got to hang out at this one. I'd say, uh, I'd say that's a pretty good uh, good day. To be honest, I've never actually done this before on ice. When I was a kid, we, we used to be out on the lake all the time, but this is, I haven't done this in a long time. Wow, this is cool. Oh yeah. I need a beer. Thought it was leaking. All right, Crooked Coast, Alt Beer. Oh, good stuff. Okay. Hey, 
think I gotta throw a few more logs on here. Maybe some of the bigger guys. Oh yeah. Definitely won't be uh, having any issues with with worrying about this fire jumping. I'll hang out for a bit and I'll get back to you guys. Well, I think I want to get some food going on the grill here. Um, so I'm just going to move some of this wood around. Give me a little bit. Uh, maybe I should grab a glove. <laughs> right here. Okay. I'm hoping I have enough coals here. To do what I want to do. We'll see. Whew. Smoke in the eyes. I don't think I need the thing folded out. Okay, let's give that a shot. See if that's gonna work. So got maple chipotle pork chops today. Oh, they burn. Oh. Guess it was too much heat. <laughs> Oh well, it is what it is. Put them a little closer together here. Getting smoke in the eyes. I'm getting a little bit of a puddle in front of the fire here. That's not good. I think I just gotta constantly flip these guys. It's pork, so I gotta really, uh, really do this right. I don't want to burn it like I did the one side. I guess it's gonna be like somewhat of a char broil. These guys are black. This is the new beer that I was I was looking forward to. Must be a Bob Marley. One love. Over hop, 9%. It's gonna be good, I think. Hopefully it's not too frozen, because they've uh, they've been freezing on me before I can even finish them. Mmm. I'm not really usually one for malty beers, but I would recommend this one. A little sweet, but it's kind of perfectly sweet. cold today <laughs> like I said everything's like everything wants to freeze on me and yeah it's just not not the right day but I'm still out here I think she's almost done It's gonna be pretty good. A little puddle forming in front of me though. 
Oh. Can't wait till these are cooked and then I can get this fire going again. I think they're just about done though. I'm gonna cut them again. I'm gonna want them cut to eat anyways. Sure, but these two. There we go. We'll just kind of keep them as little niblets. It'll be easier to eat that way. Ouch! It's a little hot. I don't know why I'm not using just my uh, fork. They let them finish up, and we'll get them off the heat. Just move it up here. Shouldn't go anywhere, and we'll get a whole bunch of firewood in there. Get this fire roaring. I got some time. I want a hot fire. I think that should, one more piece. That should do. All right, moment of truth. We're gonna try these things. I think they're cooked. Very good. Now we got a very good fire. So worth waiting till now for it. It makes it so much more enjoyable. Uh oh. Uh oh. Yeah. Well, except for when it falls into all the fire. Still good. Darn it. Oh well. It's never hurt me before. No reason it will now. But I'm gonna finish eating. I'm gonna hang up for a bit and I'll probably end up leaving here pretty soon. Well, about an hour and a half. So. I'll get back with you guys all in a little bit. Well, I think it's time for me to start thinking about getting out of here. It's already four o'clock and I gotta start hiking down pretty soon. So I think I'm gonna end this video right now. I still need to pack up and head back home. If you made it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching. And if you've liked this video, please consider subscribing. Thanks for tagging along, and I will see you on the next one. Bye for now.